You suspend those beliefs so anything can happen. We have a very similar concept in games. My name is Dennis Morgan. I am the president and founder of Harlem Colab, and I'm also a game designer. We're in a world now that is fully digital. We all engage with our phones, we're all at ATMs, we're all driving our cars, and the jobs of the future are in that space. I have found that the under-resourced areas within our city, within our community, there is a gap in their understanding about the digital tools that they have in front of them. I've been in New York now for 23 years. I've always lived in Harlem. It's my community. And I believe that the Harlem Renaissance can happen again, and I think this time it happens in digital. My work has been about what sort of programs can we put in place that allows you to partner with larger corporations and these technology centers that then brings the type of curriculum that you're looking for. I started that work at my children's school. We didn't have a strong focus on technology and STEM careers. And a lot of this could be due to the fact that we're not exposing our children at a young age to the possibilities, making them wonder and think. It started with a simple STEM fair. One of the things that I realized is I could make a connection with a company to bring robots into the school and have somebody demo those robots. Watching kids as they explore those spaces, I think of myself. I think about how I didn't necessarily have access to that as a young child and just thinking to myself how much fun I would have had if, if I had that opportunity. A lot of what I want to do is make games and I want to make these games and these ideas and these concepts more accessible for everyone. It's the gateway game. This is the first one that I ever really played. I have many, many hours against that one. I got an opportunity to start taking classes through the Scholars Program. The only place I found games was in Teachers College and they were focused on games and education. And I took two classes, both of them the design courses, and um, I was like, this is it. You don't have to pause it, it's okay. okay. I got a call in December and they said, what are you doing this spring? Love it if you want to teach. And I was like, that's a no brainer. Everyone has played this game. Have you ever described to someone how to play the game? I'm trying to be smart about the games I bring into class. What's really nice about board games is you can expand the UI, you expose the rules, so you can move and touch things. You can see really well why some things are happening and why they're not happening. You want to be a detective? Okay, okay, great. As a Bundles community scholar, you know, I'm getting access to things I hadn't thought about. And now I'm using those to help propel my business or propel my thoughts on game design. It's been absolutely life-changing, and I just want to keep it going and trying to bring as many people along with me as I can.